channel so as you know from the title the thumbnail all of that stuff I want to talk about sunscreen have you found a sunscreen that you are just like I absolutely love this sunscreen I will never wear anything else probably not sunscreens tend to be either super white and pasty or super thick super uncomfortable to wear. Before we get started, please make sure that you subscribe and that you also follow me over on my Instagram. But now we can get started. I have tried, I've lost count at this point, a thousand, a ton, a billion, a million. Okay, now I'm just exaggerating. But I have tried so many freaking sunscreens and they just, for one reason or another, they just don't work. Personally, I like both mineral and physical sunscreen. In this video, I'm only gonna be talking about my favorite mineral sunscreen. And if you're like, why do I even need a sunscreen? Like, why does it matter? Let me just age gracefully. Let me just live my life. Well, I'm here to tell you why you may want to change the way that you think if you don't like sunscreens or if you're just like, no. You need to wear a sunscreen because of the sun. So the sun emits UV rays that penetrate our earth. The ones that the sunscreens help protect are against UVA and UVB. UVA rays are the rays that go deep into your skin and literally and physically damage your DNA, your collagen, etc., etc. UV rays, they come with a vengeance. They are not messing around. They're gonna come get you. Whether you're super light, super fair, or just a deeper skin tone, those UVA rays are going to find you if you're in your room, if you're in the closet, if you're in the kitchen, if you're at work, if you're at the gym, they will get you. If you see light, they're harming you. Now, UVB rays are those that harm the outer layer of your skin, so like the epidermis. Those bad boys are the ones that are pretty much burning your skin. And you know sometimes, well, if you're like a lighter person, you, whenever you're outside, you tend to get red after being outside because you got a sunburn. Those are things to UVB. And if you are deeper skin toned and you think, well, I don't really burn, well, it doesn't really matter because the sun does not discriminate. You are still going to get UV damage if you are a deeper skin tone. I am super picky when it comes to finding a sunscreen. They need to pass a bunch of questions and tests and I guess you could say it's like an interview. They need to pass a lot of these questions with flying colors. These are some of the things that these sunscreens have to pass in order for them to make it to my drawer. First thing that I look for, it needs to be broad spectrum. That means that it's gonna protect me from UVA and UVB rays. It needs to have an SPF of 30 or higher. And SPF stands for Sun Protective Factor. When it's an SPF of 30, it claims to protect you about 96 to 97% of the UV rays. And when it's 50, it claims to protect about 98 to 99%. So the percentage is not very big. I prefer to use sunscreens anywhere from 30 to 50. Of course, if it's 50, even better, just because we tend to under apply sunscreen. It cannot leave a white cast. I mean, absolutely no white cast. I am not trying to be Capser, Capser. I am not trying to be Casper or walk around looking like Mark Zuckerberg when he was out on the beach. I don't like that look. I mean, good for him. He's being protected from the sun rays. I personally don't want that. It has to be very lightweight. I do not want to feel it on my skin at all. It needs to blend in nicely. I've tried sunscreens where after like rubbing them in, they feel thick and chalky and almost like I'm trying to spread paste on the face. I do not like sunscreens that are greasy. I don't mind dewy, but if they feel greasy and it's just slipping and sliding everywhere, I do not like that. So they cannot be greasy. It also cannot make me look orange. I mean, I've tried some CeraVe and they make me look orange. It has to work well 
with makeup. Those are the requirements that I require for each sunscreen. So as you can see, they are a lot. If I'm going to be giving my money to these companies, in return, I expect these things, which is normal, right? I mean, I'm giving you my hard earned money in return for a product that works for me. Let me show you the first one that I wanna talk about, and it is this one right here. This one is from Coats, and it stands for Contains Only Titanium and Zinc, which I think that's very cute for them to come up with that name. So this one is the Flawless Complexion Tinted SPF 50 Vanishing Zinc Oxide Mineral Sunscreen for Face. It is broad spectrum, but it's not water resistant. So that means that if you're gonna go hiking or if you're gonna go to the gym, this may not be your best option because it's not gonna stay on while you're sweating, while you're swimming, while you're, I don't know what you do when you sweat. This one is 2750 for 2.5 ounces. So it's not really that expensive compared to the amount of ounces you're getting because usually most sunscreens are about 1.7 and here, you are getting 2.7 so the price honestly is not that bad i got this one from ulta you can get it from there you can get it from their website i don't know if target or walmart sells this but i'm pretty sure it's quite accessible remember all those requirements that i required of a sunscreen this one passes all of them with the exception of one and it's not greasy but it's very dewy. I mean, the dew doesn't look greasy or oily, but it looks very glowy. I guess, yeah, it looks glowy. So if you're someone like me who already has like an oily face, you may not want this much glow. However, if you are someone like Fitzpatrick three and higher, I do believe this will work. They claim that they are not using nano sized particles, but the way that this melts and pretty much disappears from your face, it does make you wonder what technology are they using in order to make this that sheer. So I have my doubts with it. Nonetheless, I still think this is freaking amazing. And like I said, if you have a deeper skin tone, I'm like Fitzpatrick 2.5, 3, but if you are higher than that, try this out because I think you will genuinely like it because it's mineral and it's not gonna be chalky, pasty, and white on your skin but it will be glowy. But that's not anything that a powder can't fix. The zinc oxide is 20%, which means it's kind of high for zinc. So the fact that it's 20%, it doesn't mean that it's giving you more protection than something else that is a little bit lower. So I would recommend this one for you if you want something that is sheer, that is dewy, glowy, and it just kind of vanishes into the skin. Next, I'm gonna talk about the Super Goop Zinc Screen. Kind of like a lotion, and it has an SPF 40, it's broad spectrum, and it has a PA rating of plus, plus, plus. So it has three out of the four and sometimes five. They are taking the initiative to provide that PA rating. Most sunscreens in the US unfortunately do not have to provide that PA rating, which means that they only have to ensure that the SPF on the label is what we're getting. That only tests for UVB rays, which means are we getting UVA protection from those sunscreens? Because the US does not require sunscreen companies to provide that for us. But Supergoop is like, girl, I got you. I'm gonna tell you how much UVA protection you're getting from these products. So a plus 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 is actually quite decent protection from UVA rays. And personally right now, because I'm not super young, but I'm not quite mature yet, I want something that's gonna protect my collagen from UVA damage. The fact that this is telling me how much protection I'm getting, I love it. 
Not to mention, I am a lover of a pump because it is so easy to know how much I need to apply. Whereas the cots, I have to use my little measuring spoon to add this into, and then I have to scoop it out and put it around my face because I just don't trust the two finger method. I wanna know that I'm adding the exact amount every single time because sometimes I am meticulous. But with this one, I don't have to carry that little measuring spoon around because I know that for my face and neck, I need about three or four pumps so i will just squeeze one two three for my face and about half a pump for my neck and that is super convenient so that i just carry this and this alone this has zinc oxide and that's the only active ingredient that's going to protect you from the sun but zinc oxide as i mentioned earlier provides uva and uvb protection this is also very similar to the cots where it just blends right into your skin upon application it comes out like a pinkish like a light salmony pink color which kind of looks suspicious in my opinion but once you start rubbing it into your skin it literally melts melts it literally melts right in to the point where you can't even see See it. Another difference between this and the COTS is that they say that they are not nano based so they must be using a different technology that allows them to make this super sheer and I do like that they are not nano based and if you're wondering what the f is nano, there are nano sized particles that are more easily absorbed into you know the skin and into your body and some people don't want that. I personally don't mind it too much if I absorb it. I mind it more that it's not providing the coverage that is needed for protection. Whereas if it's like a larger sized particle, you can be more comfortable knowing that it's actually providing protection. So again, take that with a grain of salt. I love this for like an everyday under makeup, no makeup, this, I cannot recommend it enough. If you are a deeper skin toned person, I have heard that this does work for you. I like this one more than the COTS because it's not as glowy, it's not as dewy, it has a sheen, but that sheen looks like my skin. It just looks healthy, it looks like radiant, but it's not glowy, it's not dewy. I love this one. The zinc screen is $42 and it comes with 1.7 ounces or 50 ml. I also hate that they are so expensive. If it's for my own protection, yes it's expensive, but the formula is something that I have not been able to find in any other sunscreen. I personally don't mind paying a little bit more for something that I enjoy wearing. Because would I rather pay $5 for something that I hate wearing on my face or pay $42 for something that I actually enjoy and I know that is good and providing protection? I mean, personally, of course I'm gonna fork up the bucks, but if you're someone that's like, I just don't wanna spend that kind of money, I mean, there are other options out there, but personally, I would pay $42 for this product. Here's another one from Supergoop, and I know that you've probably seen the unseen sunscreen everywhere. However, I just wanna talk about mineral sunscreens. This next one is the Mineral Matte Screen from Supergoop. It's also SPF 40. It has a PA rating of plus, plus, plus. It's 1.5 ounces for $38. So you get a tiny bit less, but it also costs a little bit less. Do not know why no one else is talking about this sunscreen. I have an oily face. Sometimes I don't want a dewy look or a glowy look. Sometimes I just want matte face before makeup or I just don't want to wear anything else, but I also want to hide my pores. I do think this could be a lot of people's ride or die because it's not shiny, it's not dewy, it's not glowy, it hides your pores, it's mineral, it's tinted, it has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. I just, I don't understand why people are not going crazy over this one as they did over the unseen sunscreen. I just don't get it. 
I will say though, if you have very dry skin, you may not like this as much unless you moisturize extremely well before applying this. This, I put it on and it blends into my face. It looks a little bit pasty at first, but after like five, 10 minutes, I can't even tell that I'm wearing anything on my face. My pores are blurred. My skin is the same color as it was before. Super Goob has also stated that it is not nano based, which again, I don't know how their technology works to make these so sheer, but I love this. I would also recommend it to anybody who just hates the dewy glowy look of sunscreens right here. Please try this out and if you like it, let me know. Again, if you hate it, also let me know so that I don't recommend it to friends and family. I also don't think this will work for people who hate dimethicone. So dimethicone is very buttery soft. It's very slippy and some people don't like that feeling. Although you only feel it when you're applying it because once it sets, it doesn't feel like that. But if you're someone that's like, Dimethicone, I'm out, you're not gonna like this. This is probably my favorite. Now, all the sunscreens that I showed you serve a different purpose for me in my daily use, but this one is the closest one to perfection dare I say, if perfection even exists, because this is mineral based, it's tinted, SPF 50, broad spectrum, water resistant for 40 minutes. I mean, everything I have been asking for, she is. She is perfection, she is beauty, she is grace. She is everything I have been wanting in a tiny little purple bottle. I wish it were in a pump, just because it would be easier for me to gauge how much I need to apply. I do wish it didn't have a scent. Now, the scent is not really like a fragrance. It's more of a scent of all the natural ingredients in here. I am so impressed with this sunscreen. This is a holy grail, a must have. You need this as of yesterday. Now, I personally don't know if it works for all skin types. And I mean Fitzpatrick Core and onward because I have not heard of a lot of people talking about this and I don't know why. This is, like I said, holy grail status. Take my money, like, I just don't get it. It is $28 for 1.7 or 50 ml, but this one hits all the marks that I am looking for. It is zinc oxide based at 12%. It has raspberry seed extract, which is an amazing antioxidant. It also has niacinamide, which helps refine your pores and just helps with like oil production. It has jojoba, which helps nourish your skin. If you're oily or dry, it doesn't matter. It will still nourish your skin. It has tremella mushroom, which is gonna help hydrate. And it also has rosemary, which is gonna help soothe your skin if it's irritated. I am telling you, this little guy right here is amazing. This is the one I wear when I'm going to the gym, when I'm going on a dog walk, doing activities. This is what I wear. Now, it does provide coverage. So if I don't wanna wear a foundation, tinted moisturizer, any of that stuff, I just wear this alone. It is amazing at just like a standalone product because it provides light, to medium coverage and personally for me i will purchase this from now until forever i have found my holy grail this guy right here like i said i wish the smell wasn't so earthy and that it came in a pump but other than that right here this is the girl you need in your life right here you have heard all about my favorite sunscreens and why they are my favorite sunscreens I hope that you are able to find one out of the four that I shared with you to keep in your stash because these are some that I 
have found work for a lot of skin types dry oily normal and also work for all Fitzpatrick skin type I hope that it was helpful I truly hope that you start wearing sunscreen if you are not and if you already wear sunscreen good for you and good for your skin but I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you liked all the informative information to see you in the next one but don't forget to subscribe and also follow me over on my instagram but i will see you in the next video so have a wonderful day bye